Hello. In this lecture, I'm going to demonstrate how you can use a technique called forward engineering uh, and SQL Server Management Studio in order to create a new database. Uh, you should have some idea of the design, but if you've already got an ERD that you've sketched out, um, you can recreate the ERD and then rather than having to hand code the script, you can forward engineer the database from the ERD, and it will create the tables, uh, you know, the entities, the attributes, and the relationships, and it does a very nice job. So let's see how we can do this. So I have SQL Server Management Studio open. I'm going to come over and I'm going to create a new database, and I'm going to call my new database um, uh, WebDB, or let's see, yeah, MyWebDB. MyWebDB. Okay, so I've got the uh, empty database schema now created. I'm going to right click on it. Uh, actually, I'm going to ex expand it out and we'll right click and um, tell it I'd like to make a new database diagram. It'll ask me if I want to enable that. There's an extension that gets loaded to support database diagramming, and I say yes. And uh, then it says, well, add the tables. Well, I don't have any tables. Uh, that's kind of the point. So I'm going to right click on the empty pasteboard. And we're going to create a new table. And we're going to call this table users. And we're going to start adding attributes. So I want a user ID. And again, this is going to be much faster work if I've already sketched out the uh, ERD. And I'm looking at it in my notes, so I have. I'm going to create the user ID, and I want the data type to be an int. And uh, uh, rather than playing around with whether it allows nulls and is indexed and all that, I'm just going to right click on it and set it as the primary key. And then we know that it doesn't allow nulls and it has to have a unique index on it. So it's already set as the primary key. OK. And I'm going to add an uh, email address. And we're going to make that var char uh, 100. And uh, yeah, that one I'll allow nulls on. And let's have a first name field. And that will be var char, oh, let's say 45. And it's uh, the, the first name is nullable, but let's make the last name not nullable. OK, so I'm satisfied with that. Uh, I'm just going to slide that table up and out of the way. And I'm going to um, add another table. Um, oh, actually, it's going to be a new table. Here we go. And let's call this Downloads. And uh, let's make uh, the download ID the primary key. And let's add user ID. Oh, and you know, I, I'd like to use uh, uh, an int for that as well. OK. And uh, let's add user ID. And let's set the user ID to an int as well. Um, so that's going to be, you can see where, where we're going with that. That's going to be our foreign key relationship here. So it should be the same data type, or at least a compatible data type, but ideally the same data type. And um, that's not going to be nullable either. And uh, download date. And let's make that a uh, date time two. And uh, again, not nullable. And We'll have a file name. And let's use a bar char of 50 for that. Not nullable. And a product ID. And that's going to be an int. That's foreshadowing our next table. This will be the foreign key that's going to relate to the primary key in our next table, which will be products. Okay. So I've got this up here. I'm going to set that aside. We'll handle the relationships in a minute. And let's create one more new table. And this new table we're going to call products. And let's create the first field as product ID. And we want that to be an int. And uh, again, this is going to be our primary key. And let's have a product name varchar 45 and yeah i guess that could be allowed 
nulls. So very good. Now what we'd like to do is um, build the relationships between these tables. Okay, so we know that the user ID here is a foreign key. And so we want to drag and relate that here. And I'll get prompted and it says, you're making a, a foreign key relationship. It automatically suggests the name of FK downloads users. And the primary key table is primary key table is users. That is correct. And the foreign key table is downloads. That's correct. User ID to user ID is the relation. I say OK and OK. And there's my relationship. Beautiful. OK, let's do the same thing here. I'd like to relate the um, product ID here to the foreign key here. Let's drag that over. And uh, it's going to suggest to, the, to create the relationship F key downloads products. That's fine. And it's going to be the primary key on the products table is related to a foreign key in the downloads table. That's exactly what I want. That's OK. The rest of this is also OK. And now I have the full schema insofar as it is developed to this point. Uh, we're going to modify that in future exercises. Uh, but here we have a simple ERD. And uh, I can go ahead and save that. And uh, let's save this diagram. I'm going to call it uh, my web DB ERD. So there's the design. And it says the following tables will be saved to your database. So not just the diagram, but the actual tables. Well, yeah, that would be pretty nifty. So there they are. And if I come over here, let's uh, just close this and refresh and open that up again and take a look at my WebDB. Well, look at that. The tables have actually been created for us. Nifty.